Simic Mark Folk versus the eight boss. Go first. Um, <laughs> a little bit expensive. gonna pass here hopefully tr if I'm lucky I can snatch a non-creature spell here if the opponent plays something of the sorts otherwise I'll just flash in the hex catcher this can return something into a land So not. Hmm. Still gonna do it. It's uncontrollable. If I draw land, I can harbinger. Uh, I can. Ooh, the harbinger. Harbinger. Would be good. Alright. Um, I'm actually just gonna use this. Yeah, I'm gonna chain. turn that into a tropical island. Attack. Thoughtseize is pretty ugly. I could just sacrifice this. I think I'm going to do that. The Shoreline Scout. To counter that. I want to protect my collected company. So now this is going to come down. Cannot be countered. Sure. Okay, the opponent is finding one island. No, one. Whoa, an island. Okay. Everything is an island anyway. So the opponent is now full blue only. No more black cards. The opponent didn't go for a swamp. All right, now I kind of have a good protection set up. Uh. And pass the turn, keeping up Flare of Denial. I have the Hex Catcher, which can turn... Well, which is not really going to do much anymore now. But, okay, so able to pull off a victory here. Um, what am I up against, though? This seems... Born Upon the Wind is a very strong indication of... Um... So the mist... It's, um, show and tell. The mist caller can deal with Atraxa if that gets show and tell into play. Otherwise... Oh, spell Pierce. I'm gonna go. Uh, no, I'm not. 
Tide binder, no. Is mist collar really worth it here now? Surgical extraction seems okay. I'll go with the mist collar instead of the shoreline scout. And go a little lower on the trickster, maybe. Wait. Do I need the trickster? No. And one less uh, mist binder. All right. That's the plan versus show and tell. So, way too many lands. But I will try. I do have Player of Denial. I did. Ooh, the opponent actually taking that. Okay. Opponents assembling the team. So that means next turn the opponent could potentially drop the um, show and tell. So what I need to find is a creature. Okay, okay, the opponent maybe didn't find the land. So I'm still in the game here. Slow hand on my side, not really, no creatures. This can happen with four flares and four collected companies. Okay, the opponent probably wants to Uh, play show and tell with backup. So I also am going to need backup. What is my backup going to be? Is the opponent's backup going to be Thoughtseize? Or is it going to be Veil of Summer? If it's Veil of Summer, I don't have any option anyway. If it's going to be Thoughtseize... Question is, do I want to pr play Surgic Extraction to take a look here? Or do I want to keep it? I'm going to keep it. All right, there's a Mist Caller. So let's play that, keep up Flare of Denial and Surgical Extraction.
Ooh. There's the trophy. Okay. Sure. I will. Actually, now, in response, I can collect it company and then find another mist caller. I don't even have anything to put on the battlefield for the uh, show and tell. I th do lands work? If they do, I could put a mutavolt. vault. The opponent doesn't have the combo. There's the show and tell. All right, so, oh, okay. This is not green mana, so does that mean that the opponent is, um... This could be spell pierce, right? If it's Spell Pierce, I'm lost anyway. No matter if I play Collected Company or Flare of Denial. Let's just see what it is. Okay, it's none of those. Which means I am just merely gonna counter this. Ah, oh, that's so painful. Because I. Yeah, I did waste my um, stop um, surgical extraction there. This would have been the perfect target, of course. But let's see what this collected company brings. So, non-Blasic lands or islands seems pretty good. So that's going to be one. And then the hex catcher. Oh, but wait, okay, that's not gonna do anything against the stubborn, um, the show and tell. That's fine. One, two, three, four, okay, I wanna... I don't want to activate the Muta Vault. I want to keep up Collected Company and the Layer of Denial. Oh, I don't have green mana, actually, so that Collected Company is dead. Oops. So I'm still in huge trouble here, actually. I should have fetched. I need to, yeah, get into the habit of fetching a, a forest. Due to the Harbinger. Harbinger. Yeah, that's a pretty good dig. I can't even play the mist binder. All right, so the opponent has another draw step. One more. Another dig. Oh, okay. Things are looking pretty.
But the opponent has to find this. Okay, well, then. Creature, okay. Protection from creatures. Another shark. So, okay, that's game. So, um, the sideboarding plan seemed fine. So I'm going to stick to it. But yeah, I'm going to fetch a forest as soon as I can. So keep... I'm going to keep up potentially spell pierce, but also one that would like to make that uh, fetch a forest. The mist color looks pretty cool. Uh, thought sees. Um, should I even spell pierce that? <sighs> yeah. Now this is gonna put me off my blue mana again, unfortunately, which is not nice. Now I'm going to play the Harbinger. Oh, that's not going to able to fetch me the blue. Still, hopefully, this keeps the opponent from playing, from playing their non-blue cards. That has flash, so I can just play it any time. See if it's enough. I have a the hex catcher is pretty strong as well. I'm gonna keep it in hand. Two more hits. If the opponent is full on black m cards in their hand. Um, yeah. Alright, I have the hex catcher. Which should probably be game. Yep, so I think the harbinger of the sea is a super strong card. Which potentially pushed the merfolk deck. Merfolk deck over, uh into the into the next tier maybe from tier like tier three to tier two maybe even higher plus the uh the free counter spell as well so uh the deck does struggle with a uh, decks that like mid-range decks i think are more difficult but then you know you get you can have get the island walk as well anyway let's uh see how the next <laughs> simic merfolk versus regno lonrot Go first. 
and keep. This could be a land. Wait, what? If you do, at the beginning of your first upgrade of the four cards, you four cards of your library. You may put one of those cards back on top of your library, exile the rest. Okay, it's basically like you can have a card selection at the beginning of the match. Um, okay, breeding pool into shoreline scout. Do I want to turn something into a land? No, I have to mimic. Alright, I need to be quick and do my thing. That's gonna evoke. Alright, so that's drawing. So the opponent is looking for... This is just gonna be an island. So I could play the Mimic. That's an island, right? Yeah, so Island Walk is gonna be pretty strong here. Yeah, Island Walk is, is super, super relevant. Yeah, the opponent can't deal with that. All right. Good. Wow, I have no... I'm not super familiar in my whole history of magic. I haven't dealt with these, like, colorless cards a lot. Mana value 4, 5, or 6. Create 201 Eldrazi's. What? Whenever you can... Wow. Th two of those, and when you sacrifice them, you draw three cards. Like, if you play a spell with mana cost 7 or more. Like this Null Drifter. This Null Drifter is such... It's pretty cool. It's a copy of Null Drifter. Like a... It's based on that. So, um, hmm. I think I'm gonna put bring in the tide binder. Yeah, the tide binder instead of two hex catchers Because I am have a feeling that the Eldrazi deck is more creature-based, right? Eldrazi is like a creature-type thing. Yeah. Turbo. Master and Harbinger is a good combo. Um, I could turn, like, this into a tropical island. Yeah. Next turn I'll have the hex catcher. Eldrazi, all right. Okay. So, here comes I'm going to put yeah, it's going to be the hex catcher. Why? Because yeah, I want to be able to catch some hexes. Next, it's going to be... Okay, and now is the time to shine, right? Wait, oh, it's not counterable. Oopsie. Well, then I have a problem.
Okay. Thought not seer. Like the Harbinger is a must, right? Like it's the only that's the card that makes full sense. <laughs> yeah. Anything else would would oh that was a terrible draw. Considering um so what does this mean for me now? I'm actually gonna turn my Oh it's yeah, no, never mind, never mind. Alright. Attack with that. Okay. So that was very relevant because giving like island walk again to all of these would have been um insane. So Flare of Denial isn't doing anything for the rest of the game due to the Cavern of Souls. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, non-counterable. Uncounterable. Alright, the opponent's not attacking. What is happening? Reach. Okay, it just generally has reach. Okay. Right. So, ca attacking with these three threes is... I can make them into four fours, right? Yeah. No, four threes. Okay, but that's fine. Attack with them. So keeping on the pressure. Yep. I could try and yeah, let's see, let's see. Alright. Before damage, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I might have drawn into another lord, like another hedge catcher. Yeah, now you can't really take you're gonna you're gonna take something that doesn't that's dead in my hand anyway. Wait, what? I ah, I can't play it because I cannot show a ah uh, no attack and turn. Now th I know the opponent's top end curve is probably stronger than mine. Yeah. Reveal the top card if it's a permanent yeah this this is insane. I know this card. I remember it from somewhere from modern I think. Is this being cast or what? No, it's being evoked. Okay. Ah, okay, but you can sack it in before. Yeah, okay, that's pretty sweet. You can sacrifice it. So all evoke cards are good, work very well with other things that sacrifice. Ah, uh, this can be Flare of Denial. If the okay, the opponent can sack Eldrazi's into that. Okay, I'm gonna four eight plus five. 
I'm not dead. But I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna... Put everything on one card here. Um, wait a minute. Could the glass pool mimic be relevant here? Ah, uh, I can't use this. Wait, I can. Yeah, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I... Ah, but I can't use the Muta Vault in, in the same turn. So this will give everybody in another 2-2. Two, two. So it's... F but the opponent can block one. So I'm only going to get in for 7 damage, which is not enough. So... Um, <laughs> seven eight if i could somehow tap that like a, a trickster would have been nice again i don't know i don't know this just was too much here that thought nuts here was was yeah that changed the game. This Harbinger would have been super important. Spells that target a merfolk. Hmm. Like, these Flare of Denials are now very questionable. But at the same time, what am I going to put in? Not much else. And if the opponent doesn't draw their Cavern of Souls, then it can be very relevant. So, it's unfortunately, it's just the kind of lucky or not situation um this is very land heavy but i'll keep it with these two i am hope i have hopes i have hopes hopes to get them on the fat battlefield as soon as possible there again is the devourer of destiny Four cards. Put one of those cards back on top. Okay, so basically, before the game even begins, you can already kind of select what's going on. Alright, again, again with the Yanovar Elves. Alright, breeding... All right, let's play the Trident, Master of the Pearl. Wait, what? So this thing was imprinted. Okay. All right, this is now the moment. Um, not gonna attack. I need to have these stay on the battlefield. And... Find one more... Yeah, just find some merfolk. Okay. Wait a minute. I s again, I don't have a forest. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I need to I need to start fetching forests. Like this collector company is again is dead. As is all are all of these cards. So Oh, I could have attacked. I'm such an idiot too. I'm tired. It's already pretty late today. I, I was figuring out like what kind of deck to play. And I had a long day at work as well, so please forgive me. So the opponent's actually better off than me now. But the opponent doesn't have the colorless mana, right? Right, there comes that. Horrific assault. Okay, tap target creature, loses all abilities. Alright, now I can attack. Okay. 
sure. Wait. Okay. I could have tapped that, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see if the Harbinger of the Seas is able to win on her on her own. So I will attack with the trickster. You need to be careful of the matter reshaper, Bright, but it's only mana value three or less. What is that? Oops. Yeah, I think that was, um, we'll see. Oh, now I can collect it company, though. So let's get that and that. But now the opponent can do probably all their crazy stuff. But there's only the opponent has to use this one turn to do it. Ah, exactly seven. Yeah, that's gonna be game. All right, so losing to Eldrazi just for, yeah, not having the knowledge of that deck and also making a mistake, I guess, here and there. Um, I sh yeah, I shouldn't lock myself out of Collected Company all the time. So, yeah, lesson learned. On to the next one. Simic Merfolk versus Karn himself. What an honor it is. To destroy you. Should keep. Ah, uh, I don't need to do anything. Yeah, the, the meta is changing ins insanely. I haven't seen one bl lightning bolt. <laughs> um, or like Ragavan or the typical s usual suspects. So, this is going to be some kind of... Oh, the new Buried Alive. Wow, that's 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 so sweet. G to the G is what I would say almost here. But we'll see. Um, but that would have not been possible without a uh, Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual does enable a lot of crazy things yeah this one's this one's done there's nothing I could have done to prevent this unless I would have drawn a counter spell so that means I do want to run spell pierce here and this guy don't need that many shoreline scouts then just yeah replacing it with the mist caller I do, do, but what do I usually then take out as well? The trickster, the trickster, what is the trickster doing? 
Yeah, I'll take out three tricksters. Uh, surgical extraction seems good. Go down on a company. What, 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 and one more trickster. No tricksters. Do I even want the Aether Gust? I don't know. I don't think I need to distort my deck that much. The rest is fine. Uh, I'm going to throw down the Adept first, instead of the Trident, even though the Trident would obviously make more damage, but I want to, I don't want to sack the Mistcaller to my, for my Flare of Denial. That's why I'm playing the Silver Gill Adept first. As it's a, that's always a good card to ditch to the flare, because it's free and it replaces itself. Share the creation of Avacyn. I don't know. I'm just gonna counter that. I mean, nice, yeah, I mean, you had your turn <laughs> one everything in the previous match. Now, unfortunately, my spell pierce won't be... Uh, I'm missing a land, but I could try to find one with this. Hopefully, I draw land here. Don't. All right. That means I'm counterless at the moment. Counterless. Opponent has played one card so far. Okay. Should I just keep up st a spell pierce and play another mist caller? Instead of playing the master of... Yeah. I'm going to play it slower here. I don't need to go high under pressure here. Um, I can play this before damage. We'll see. We'll see what the opponent does first. Nah. Just deal three. That's fine. Never. I always want to. Yeah. Put threats on the table and then be reactive. That's kind of my 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 um, plan here. Wha okay. That's one spell played. Yeah. Buried alive and phoenix is definitely a good combination. One card played. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.
Wow. Locked the opponent out completely, even just with this mist caller. Um, bu -bu -bu -bum. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I'll put in one Koopala instead of an Sedun. Yes. Keeping this because I have surgical extraction. Guarding a lot of spell pierces. All right, so I have a few denials, but not really the creatures to back it up. But I can hex catch and sack it on its own if it's enough to pay only one more. Or I can use it to Flare of Denial, or I can Surgical Extraction. And there we go. I'm just going to do this now. Yeah, just get the whole... All of those shenanigans out of the way immediately. Dark Ritual... Okay, what does this do exactly again? Search your library for a face-down card. Exile it. I should have looked at the opponent's library when I had the chance. Like, is there going to be some other creature here that I'm not aware of? All right, the opponent has spell pierce, so there's no point even trying to counter this. I'm just going to be sacking my creature for nothing, so... All right, let's see what happens here. It's an Atraxa, of course. Oopsies. What am I going to do now? So that's how that thing works. Wow, that's just basically... A full-on tutor into reanimate for f everything for free. Um, Alright, how can I deal a lot of damage in the shortest time possible? Probably by playing this guy and activating this and attacking with everything and putting the opponent to one which I'm not sure if it's enough but it could be could be enough could be just enough The opponent is going to go gain 7, go to 8. Yes! So it was just enough due to the Muda Vault. And um, Alright, so wow, that worked out pretty well. I guess um, this Mist Caller, Mist Binder, is super good against the reanimator type decks. So that's definitely something 
to all, which also also pushes this deck a little bit above the edge. So, um, yeah, d this deck does seem like it has potential. So let's continue playing and see how far the potential goes. Simic Merfolk versus Vulcan. Play first, keep. I really like Silver Gill Adept as well. Because it replaces itself. It's free. Card is free, not the mana. You do have to pay, the, you have to go through the mana hoops. But other than that... Free draw. Yeah, that's it. That's exactly why it's nice. Because it. That was. Getting a card out of the opponent's hand. So, what do I do now? I play another one. And reveal the trickster. I hate this card already. And I'm going to play a deck with this card as well. But uh, I don't know what's happening. Like when this card does enters the battlefield, like I always feel like so much crazy stuff can happen. If no, there's no point. <laughs> there's no point sacking my creature to flare of denial that. No, there isn't. Okay. Okay, now the question is, do I want to put down these two? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Next turn, in the opponent's turn, I'm before combat. Let's see. Let's see what happens first. I have a few options here now. So the opponent probably wants to do something... Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, let's grab an island. I could play the trickster. Tap that thing, play the hex, hex catcher and then Flare of Denial, or I could just collect it company and then Flare of Denial. Let's do that. Okay, so this is good and this is good. Now this doesn't prevent then this thing, but <laughs> okay, the opponent didn't like any of that. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the tide binder. Wait, a non-token creature. Oh my god, the mist caller again, because this, yeah, wasn't cast. So, thank you, Shoreline Scout. Right. Spell Pierce new. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, spell. No, no spell Pierce. This is creature based, right? Um, I mean, yeah. There's some. I think that's the Mist Caller is the most important thing here. Can go to what lower on one of those. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess the Harbinger of the Sea already made the opponent unhappy. Tide Binder. 
the trickster usually goes at least two of them and then I'll bring in one spell pierce as well okay so a lot of yeah a lot of new cards being tested here I had to go very deep. Um, that's the thing with the Merfolk deck. It's not a deck that you just build. It doesn't have any cards. It has so... No, it has, let me rephrase that. It has so few cards that share other decks, except the lands to some extent. So the investment into this deck is very steep and you can only play this deck basically. Um, but i am always thought about trying it because I did like it but it was never like really tier one. But I think with, yeah, with this Harbinger, 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 I never know what's the right way to say that. Um, but that really kind of changed my perspective here. So, okay, let's do the Silver Gill, right? Or do I do the Mist Caller? Before something happens to it. No, it's just going to get killed. Let's just so show the Lord. The Lord is just always there. Ah, oh, that's... That is... That is exactly how yeah, I should have well, I should have seen that coming. So that was game breaking. That was absolutely game breaking. Sure. Okay. But we do have this thing. So maybe that can be enough. Ah, uh, you're gonna have swords it immediately. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I would have needed a counter. The counter for that. No, I, w I couldn't. Because my counter would need me to sacrifice. Okay. For four mana, that's gonna be O Necropotence. Okay. Hmm. I like that effect from the mist binder. Um, hex catcher. Pff, just to protect that, is that worth it? No. I could have given it plus one and gained more life, but let's see. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I could have tapped. So I'm. Yeah, I'm tired a little bit, but that's not an excuse. When you play magic, you should be fully immersed and involved. So even though I did make a mistake, I am still going to try to slam this guy and block the bowmasters. Just you guys, you lose all abilities, please. Sure. Okay. Okay. So necropotence.
pass. Keep the hex catcher as a flash creature available. Mm. Do I want to block? No. No, I don't. Not yet. Opponent's going to 8. I mean, there could be a world where... gonna be what is this gonna be solitude yeah I'm gonna sacrifice this and that and this and that okay on to game three here um yeah let's bring in this Let's bring in more of the heavy hitters here. Go down on one of the collected companies. And maybe not. Um, the trickster. Yeah. Uh, one less of those. Um, one more spell pierce, one less company. Okay. Yeah, that seems fine for me. Play first. Keep. Kopala is good at protecting my things. That's actually, yeah, that's that makes sense. I don't have interaction though. I do, like, I could use a spell pierce or the free counter spell. Free, as in, you have to sacrifice one of your beautiful creatures. What's it called again? Um, it's called Flare of Denial. Oh, that was a good draw. Okay, I'm not going to make the same mistake as usual. I am going to fetch a forest here. going to reveal the mist binder this time i can't run into a bowmaster there's the flare which is super that was an amazing draw flying first strike destroy up to one non basic land sure yeah, I'm okay with this thing. It's not nice because it has first strike, but still. So I'm not going to get through that thing, but I can... Drop creatures and keep up spell pierce and flare of denial. So that thing has flur strike, so I'm gonna have to hang back here a little bit. Until I have some way to 
get around it. Silvergill Adept ah, is risky to play. This one is... Let's play this. Oh, I'd really love to play the Silver Gill to keep up Spell Pierce, but then I might have to f use a Flare of Denial into the if the opponent has Bowmasters, which I don't want to do because let's play this guy. Yeah, that makes more sense. So that's being evoked, right? Evoked. So, okay. Yeah, kill, like, the Mistbinder, I guess. Do I need to protect the Mistbinder by using all these cards? No, I don't. No, I don't. So take the Binder. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that is something I want to counter. The Ephemerate. That would have been too strong. That ephemerate, yeah, ephemerate, ephem, ephemerate, ephemerate, is is super good with these evoke stuff. What? Non-token black creature. Wow. Okay, flare of malice. Makes sense together with the evokers. Mm hmm. But in this case, no evoke. Okay, what am I going to do now? Okay, now I'm playing this thing for sure. I have Spell Pierce up. Spell Pierce is going to lose its value super soon. Like, it would have been amazing for this thing. All right, Mutavolt. So, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? This is not really going to do much at the moment. This thing. Or do I just want to collect it company at the end of turn? Let's drop this. Keep up spell pierce. Ah, there's that pop thing. Okay. Okay, what's that gonna mean? That means they can... Oh, this orchid is gonna just keep blasting my lands. But wait a minute. So, should I... Do this. Yeah, let's do this. No! Alright, so I'm gonna block here. Perfect. Perfect. No. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have to sacrifice everything in order to counter that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that because I have collected company. Okay, so target this, sacrifice this. Target this, sacrifice this. 
I know how valuable. Target this. Sacrifice this. And there comes this. Gonna kill my Mutabolt. Yep, I'm gonna grab a island. My final island. Alright, and here is my Harbinger. Spell Pierce not doing anything. Okay, so... Okay, okay, okay. Spell Pierce not doing anything. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. So... Attack. Keep up and play Collected Company at the end of turn. Oh, God, took care of that thing again. Uh, Non-token creature under the battlefield wasn't cast. Okay. Or should I keep up double spell? I'm going to keep up... No, double... Nah, okay, I'm going to keep up one spell pierce. Does that do much? No, I'm going to play the mist caller. And hope for the best. Hope for the best. All right, so there we got it. Whew. So this thing is so incredibly valuable. It's a blood moon on a stick, which has its advantages and disadvantages. The advantage being it's a creature and can apply pressure. And it fits straight up into the merfolk deck. Negative thing is obviously it can be killed by all sorts of creature killer spells. But just slamming four of them in this deck is just an um, absolute no-brainer. Um, what is giving me ward? Ah, okay, this thing. Yeah, okay. Sibylon of Sea and Sky. All right. So what does this deck de struggle with, in my opinion? Um, other creatures on the battlefield is a little bit problematic. Because these merfolks are usually not the biggest creatures around there are two twos and three threes but if there's something which is a four four then you're just stuck and getting stuck like that is always problematic um but then you do have the option of giving if the opponent does have islands on their own then the master pearl trident master of the pearl trident gives them island walk or with the harbinger you give them island walk Wow, what is this? So the and the mist caller is incredible. The mist caller is super nice to have. Um, so yeah, I'm overall pretty pleased with the deck. Um, going three and one. Um, sorry for the misplays today, guys. Um, I did have a a long day today, uh, but I did want to um, yeah, make a video for today. Um, I spent some time looking for a deck that I could build. Um, all my other decks that I tried to create were kind of like still work in progress things, but this one was the one I could think of that would be pretty straightforward to build and also um, makes use, great use of, of some of the new cards. So. Um, well, Mistcaller isn't, but definitely the Harbinger is. And then the free counterspell. Um, 
the what's it called it's one of these um flares yeah flare of i don't know what but the, i didn't yeah i wasn't aware that there are actually a a cycle of cards so this one seems pretty cool as well non-token black creature this one looks amazing so this kind of deck this philia flare and grief plus solitude black white deck is seems to me is also a great option um but yeah being able to overpower it with this merfolk deck is makes me pretty happy anyways um enough brabbling on happy to showcase this deck for all you merfolk fans or not <laughs> for anyone who likes to watch timeless wants to see some new cards um and i mean also just seeing the new format what kind of decks you run into and stuff like that anyway if you liked it leave a like leave a comment that always helps me um and makes me happy but playing man magic in general just makes me happy um, but you can make me extra happy just kidding um thanks for watching have fun see you in the arena and peace